right, so let's take a look at the midfielders and forwards who will be representing the Super Eagles in upcoming friendly matches against Algeria. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. And first, we start with Alex Iwobi, the Everton midfielder, a player who definitely has been on fire this season with his club, started every match for his club this season, and has also played 19 straight matches when you date back to last season. I mean, I don't think I'm going too far by saying Alex Iwobi has definitely been Everton's best player this season. His move to the midfield definitely played a big part in what we saw. I felt we already saw some glimpses of this during the last international break. Alex Iwobi playing four matches in the midfield and I believe he just carried on into the season and once Frank Lampard, his head coach, put him in the midfield, it was like putting a fish in water. He just swam and he's going with it. Next up is Frank the Tank on Yeka, the Brentford midfielder. Brentford in the EPL, last play for the Super Eagles in the World Cup qualification doubleheader against Ghana. He actually played the first and second leg of that tie, but ever since then has not played a minute for the Super Eagles. He moved from Michelin in Denmark to Brentford a couple seasons ago, and ever since then he has not had that much luck in breaking into the starting lineup. Was really a bit part player last season, and this season kind of so-so. Four appearances in the league, none of them were starts, one appearance in the cup. The third and final midfielder is Rafael Onyedika of Club Bruges. First cap for the Super Eagles, never was involved with any teams at the youth level, actually started his career in Nigeria before he moved to Midtjylland. After a couple of seasons in Denmark and breaking into the Midtjylland side, he made the move to Club Bruges where he's at right now and he has wasted no time in breaking into their squad. Three appearances in the league with two appearances in the Champions League. And let's not forget he already started and played 90 minutes in six matches before his move from Midtjylland to Club Bruges took place. Next, we move to Moses Simon, the Nantes winger, not in the French top flight, the French Ligue 1. There were a few rumblings and rumors about Moses Simon making a move this offseason, and the fingers were mostly pointed at the EPL, but none of that ever took place, and he is still at Nantes, and he basically started up from where he left off last season. Three goals and one assist in six appearances this season in the League 1. Moses Simon actually captained the Super Eagles in the last match against Sao Tome and it was a huge success. 10 goals for the team. I believe he had a goal and an assist in that game also. Next we move to Leicester City forward Kelechi Yanacho comes back to the team after missing out on the last international break. This season, Kelechi has been going through a little bit of a hard time at his club. They sit bottom of the log in the EPL, and he has also been getting minimal game time. He has only played 90 minutes once, and that was in a cup game, and he only has one other start outside that in the league, and in that start, he actually scored. Now, with the Super Eagles, his last match was the World Cup qualification match against Ghana and Abuja. He was part of the Super Eagles AFCON squad, played in all four matches, scored a goal and created an assist, but was not called up for the last international break and missed all four matches. Next up, we have Kalechi Yanacho's strike partner at the 2013 on the 17th World Cup. Taiwa Wani, Nottingham Forest player, was part of the African Cup of Nations for Nigeria and also played three matches, but after that has not had a call up for the team. Just made the move to Nottingham Forest from Union Berlin in the offseason. He has played in eight matches this season with seven in the league and one in the local cup. He has scored two goals in the league also. Next, we're going to move to Terry Mofi, the Lorient striker. Back-to-back -back call ups for the Super Eagles. Played all four matches in the last international break. Scored his first ever goal for the Super Eagles in their last match against Sao Tome. And he ended that match with a brace. Now, Mofi walked into the camp with the highest goal scoring tally of any player in the team. Six goals and eight appearances in the league on, and that's two goals away from the tally he had last season. Next, we move to Chidera Ejuke, the Heta Berlin winger. 
made his last appearance for the Super Eagles at the African Cup of Nations. He actually didn't even make the bench in the Super Eagles last match against Tunisia. Chidera just moved to Hertha Berlin from CSKA Moscow this season, a loan move for a year, and that's because FIFA is allowing players to leave Russia due to that situation over there. Now, he has made seven appearances in the German Bundesliga, all but one of them was a start, and he also has two assists in the league, plus he has one appearance in the DFB Poco, the cup competition. Next, we move to Ademala Lukman, winger for Atalanta in the Serie A. Made his first appearance for the Super Eagles against the Black Stars of Ghana in that World Cup qualification doubleheader. Won the penalty for the goal that was scored in Abuja. Missed the two friendlies played in the last international break, but then played the two AFCON qualification matches. Recently moved to Atalanta in the Serie A and has played seven matches already for them and scored one goal this season also has one assist. Next and last but not least, Cyril Dessa striker for Cremonese in the Serie A. Recently signed for Cremonese from Genk in Belgium. But last season he played at Feyenoord in the Dutch Eredivisie. Feyenoord went all the way to the finals of the Europa Conference League last season and Cyril Dessers was a big part of them making it. What's crazy was at the end of the season the fans of Feyenoord actually started a campaign trying to donate money to sign Cyril Dessers but I believe it was against FIFA rules or something like that. So he ended up going back to his parent club in Gank. He actually played three matches this season for him and scored three goals and created one assist. Then he moves to Cremonese. Not so much luck in finding the back of the net. No goal scored and one assist in seven matches in the Serie A. With the Super Eagles, it's been kind of off and on for Sierra Dessas. Capped in 2020 and had to wait till 2022 to get his next cap for the Super Eagles. He was part of the Super Eagles last international break and he scored his first goal for the team against Mexico. And he also started the next match against Ecuador, played 90 minutes in that game. But the next two matches were on the bench for him. He did not play any of those two matches for the Super Eagles. The one against Sierra Leone and Sao Tome. So yeah, those are the midfielders and forwards who will be representing the Super Eagles in the friendly matches against Algeria. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. Peace.